bid you good day. Today I greet you with news surrounding your recent or new found rediscovery of another constellation numbering 13 those that are impacted by astrology. And so already the controversy to what one ascribes their own astrological birth sign or frequency to and confusion already. So to offer a few other words of discernment I suggest the following. First, that the number 13 has always been sacred to this earth. To those that understand and study numerology, 13 is 4, 1 and 3. The addition of the two numbers, the answer 4, the number of earth, stability, the four legs of the table, and like that. 13 as well to numerology, one at times associated not necessarily with mastery, but we will say ascribed to the frequency, the vibration of the king. Matter of fact, the king in your playing cards numbering has the value of 13, king of the earth. Relative to the discovery then, a fucus then, is man, but he is king among men. A description that I will allow you to make of it what you will. This king among man holds or bears a serpent. He is the serpent bearer. Here I will also say to you a serpent and a snake are not the same. A serpent belonging then to a higher order or one that belongs to more than one world. A serpent then would belong to, at least on the earth, the ocean or the earth, to opposites or to higher realms, one with high and deep respect for the other. The king of men then bears a serpent. It appears that he is dividing the serpent or that he stands in its mid-region holding half in one direction and half in the other. I will say to you that depending upon how this is viewed or from what angle, it is either separating two halves or uniting two halves. And perhaps now as one age comes to a conclusion and the next one begins, both of these images are also appropriate. To those who study the astrological sciences, I give you to remember that they were indeed a science. Science always has room for new discovery. It welcomes a challenge. It welcomes an addition. And so long ago those who devised these systems in declaration or respect of the procession of the earth currently described as its wobble. Yes, 13. Now, what does this do to the base 12 and its current understanding? Here I tell you again, there is room for both to coexist. Depending upon what world, what reality, what understanding one is born into, that is what is generally followed. If you have been born on a certain day of the week, a month, a year, that is the birth date that you will call your own. If the earth understands a certain reality, a certain following at that time, you more than likely will follow that reality. If during the course of your life a new reality, a new discovery is introduced, you will have a choice to remake yourself or to continue along the same lines. Those who are born in the following generations, they will be born into the new or the next reality 
that will be their understanding. So for instance, those who follow the 12 traditions now, or the 12 months, or the 12 constellations, if it be to your fancy, that is what you will follow. Those that come after this moment, if the understanding will take hold, and I tell you that it will, then they will be born into a world with 13, and they will adjust themselves accordingly. Long and longer ago, it was the 13 that was understood by many and many of the civilizations of that time, including the great Babylonians to which much of astrology is ascribed. They understood the 13. They also understood that man of that time had divided his nature, divided it and divided it again so that it became lowly in a certain regard, so that man needed to begin once again to raise his vibration almost from the very beginning, from the snake to the serpent, for instance, you see, from the very bottom dweller, to begin again. And so the king of men at that time was seen to divide the serpent, and in doing so divided himself so that the thirteen was lost for a time, wisdom lost to the planet, and reduced to twelve. Now light begins to bear upon the planet again, and so the thirteen, the king of men, begins to return. I tell you that you will see the sign in the sky as well. Many symbols come now to the earth as reminders some of them gentle, some not so gentle. There is room for science to come together. There is room for astrology and astronomy yet to come together in understanding again. So do not struggle over the new discovery. I tell you that more than this comes as well. Look to the heavens now and you will see that more makes itself clear as well. The signs are upon the earth, the signs are numbered in the heavens as well. And so look to the systems to change. If you will understand that many of your systems upon the earth are due to change, be it those of an economic nature, a governmental nature, educational nature, then you must also give way to those systems, even of an astrologic nature, that have measured just so. Be willing to look to the new and the next reality in this as with all things. So sweet ones, the message is short one, but I tell you that there is room now for not only this discovery, but for many others that will come as well. Be willing to rewrite your history so that you will also be willing to welcome a new future. I bid you good day.